We're looking at Cricut Design Space on the iPad today. When you first open Cricut Design Space on your iPad, you'll see a page that looks a lot like this. This is showing you different projects that you can make. These projects are already designed and laid out by the designers with Cricut or sometimes people within the Cricut community. As you're scrolling through, if you see something you like and you think you might want to try it later, you can click the star. This is going to save it to your favorites. You can also go over here to categories and then you can look for projects that are saved to the iCloud, saved on this iPad, saved to your favorites, um, ready to make. And then there's a list of other categories down here. So if you're looking for just baby projects, you can click on baby. And then you'll see baby cards, baby shirts, anything that Cricut has deemed a baby project. Let's go back up to the filter. And ooh, here's projects that are free. So this means these are free for you to make. You could make any of these with your Cricut machine. Um, let's under the categories. If you have different machines, Here's free for the Maker, the Joy, the Explore One, Air Two, or um, Explore Air. I'm gonna click on Explore One because that's the machine I have. So now all of the elements that are in these projects are ones that I could make for free. It's kind of fun if you just got your machine and just are getting started, you can look through here and say, ooh, I like that. So I wanna make that sometime but you know all of those images are things that are available to you. Um, you see some of them with the little A, that means those images are in Cricut Access. So if you already paid for access, you know that you can make those. I'm gonna clear this filter out and go to all categories. And let's say I typed in dog. Now it's gonna show me all of the dog related projects. So those are a couple different ways that you can um, find a project. And then if you decide you wanna make it, you would just click on it and it's gonna pop up another screen that's gonna show you a couple little pictures, which is kind of fun. And then it's gonna list off the approximate size, a little description, the materials you'll need. This is good so you can go and make sure you have all of the things to put together a little information on preparation, how to cut it, assembly, and then the individual elements that are found in this project. Um, so then if you want to just make it, you have all the supplies, you can click make it right here. If you want to customize it a little, maybe change the color or change the number um, from one to a different number, you would click customize and then that would bring you into Cricut Design Space to allow you to do that. And if you don't have access, over here in the left corner, it says $5.99. That tells you how much it would cost to purchase all of the elements in there. So I hope that helped you on how to look for projects, find ones that you might like to make, and add them to your favorites. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a whole bunch more videos planned and you don't want to miss them. Thanks.